Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble the Corsair Glaive gaming mouse. Alright, all you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver and some tape. Alright, let's get started. First thing you want to do is get rid of the cover. I've already removed the rubber pads that are underneath my mouse. Go ahead and, after you do that, take out the four screws. By the way, the reason I am disassembling my mouse is because I've been having a double clicking problem, which is pretty common in most mice, especially this one. But if I'm dragging and dropping, then uh, sometimes it will double click when I'm not asking it to. All right, after that, go ahead and get rid of your magnetic thumb rest. Put that to the side. And then you'll want to open up your mouse like this, like a clamshell. And then I take two fingers right here and pull this way, backwards. There's just two clips up at the front that you're going to want to unclip. And it feels like you're going to break it, but just be gentle. All right, now you have one ribbon attaching your top cover to your bottom cover, which is right here. So go ahead and pull that straight up and put the top cover to the side. All right, now we're going to get rid of the side buttons. So these two buttons that you click with your thumb. All right, uh, so there are three screws down here inside uh, that are kind of helping hold down the main motherboard. Here, here, and here. So I'm take those out really quick. There's two magnets that hold on your magnet, your thumb rest. So sometimes it's, yep, see that, that screw just got picked up by the magnet. So don't worry, just leave it there. Don't go fishing for it. You'll just break something. Okay, that one's good enough. And then those magnets pull on your screwdriver too. So it's a little tricky. All right, so once all those are loosened up, turn your mouse around. And then there's, you want to start with this left clicker. Get this one out first. There's a tab and the screw is in the way, but if you look very closely, there's a tab in there that you can put your screw driver against and pull against, and then that should unclip it and release the first uh, thumb button. All right, so there's, oh man, we, we got a magnet along with it. That's okay. So there's a magnet. There's one, two screws, and then one of the buttons. Go to the next side button. There's also a tab. So push in the tab and pull up on the thumb button. Also, we got we got the magnet again. Not a problem. Let those magnets hang out. They've never been so close before. All right, so three screws, two buttons, two magnets, perfect. Now we're gonna take off the scroll motherboard. There's three screws, one, two, three, all right. Two, three. All right, once you get all those off or loosened, go ahead and just wiggle and pull up on the scroll motherboard. All right. Perfect. All right, time to take off the main motherboard. There are two things that are connected to the main motherboard. This ribbon strip and then this switch. Uh, so go ahead and the first thing you do for the ribbon switch is pop open the uh, little connector tab. Okay, after that, you can just pull away. The ribbon strip will pop right out. Uh, to get this, just kind of get your screwdriver in between there, pop it open until you can just get your fingers in there and uh, pop off the switch. There's also a piece of foam right here that's holding down the a wire. So go ahead and might need to get your screwdriver to help pop it up. Okay, there we go. So get the piece of foam out. Okay. Now there are three screws holding the main motherboard down here. Uh, let's see, there we go. There, there, and here. Oh, there we go, and there. Okay, so get those three out. If you're watching this video because you have the double click problem, I will try to explain how to fix that once we get there. 
two and get the third one out of there. All right, so after you get that, pull out the main motherboard, two fingers up top on these two switches, and then one in the back. Should be able to pretty easily pull it right out. Be gentle. All right, and there we go. Put the casing to the side. All right, so if you're watching this video to fix the switch problem, the double-clicking switch, these are the two switches right here. Let me see if I can get a better view. All right, these are the two switches right here. Uh, mine is with the left, left click. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up. Uh, before you open this up, this is very important, before you open this up, you want to put a piece of tape on top of the switch so you don't have to, uh, you know, so you don't lose this little blue button because it's gonna fall out of there once you pop this open. So here I have a piece of tape handy. I am just gonna put it on top. All right, and when I pop this off, hopefully the button stays to the tape. All right, so if you just, uh, this can be kind of tricky with my flat head. If you have a, I mean, with, with my Phillips head, if you have a flat head, it'll go easier, but go ahead and try to pop the switch open. And uh, yep, it worked with my Phillips. So go ahead and very carefully try to keep that tape on there. All right, and there we go. So it is opened up. See my little button? Didn't fall out, so we'll put that to the side. Okay, now if you look at this switch, it is just a piece of metal. And when you click down, and it's hard to do with a finger, but it's kind of hard to see, but when you click down, it makes a connection there on the right. See it connected, I mean disconnected, connected, disconnected, connected. So what's happening is when I'm clicking down, it's not staying connected. So I've already done this, but what you want to do is you can see how mine kind of bends upward. All I did was I got a toothpick and I very gently, and I'll try to do it with my little Phillips head. Uh, I'm not going to be able to, it's kind of too big. But you kind of just bend this upward like this. You want to just bend it up slightly. Bend the metal so it bends up slightly. After you've done that, then it's time to reassemble everything. All right, let's get started. Okay, so go ahead and get this casing back on your table. I like to reconnect the ribbon strip first while you have this a little free. Go ahead and put the motherboard back in, but don't screw it down yet. Okay, so lift up the tab again if it fell down like mine, and then you'll want the blue strip facing up. Go ahead and, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, it'd be nice to have some needle nose pliers right now, but I'm too lazy to go out to the garage. All right, so there we go. Kind of get a good old push. Pop down the tab. That should kind of lock it in place. All right, that looks good. Next, put the wire back. Okay. Now grab the three screws that held down the motherboard. Screw them back in. One. Ooh, two. Three. And you know what, we should, probably should have put the switch back on, but it's okay. Uh, it's still going right now. It's a little easier if you do it before. So if you caught that, pat yourself on the back. All right, that worked fine. And then uh, you can go ahead and test your little switch. You should hear a click. So that sounds good. Right one sounds better, but... Uh, you should have a pretty satisfying click when you push that blue button. All right, next, put the piece of foam back in there. It went like this. OK. 
Okay. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention while I had it open. Uh, this is actually a reset button for this mouse, this little tiny hole. So when you pop off the main motherboard, sometimes a little piece of rubber that is that uh, reset button will fall out of your out of your casing if you flip it over. I didn't flip it over. Uh, but if you're wondering what, what the hell is this little piece of rubber doing, where did it come from, that's where it goes. It's the little reset button right here. Okay. Scroll motherboard, we'll put this back on. If, if your wheel popped off, it's no big deal. You just uh, put in the axle right back to that little mechanical wheel and like that. Okay, then go ahead and lay this back on the four little pillars and then there's a connection uh, right here that you'll have to marry up with this. So that was very easy, there we go. Okay, sometimes that piece of foam, there you go. Gets in the way a bit. Okay. Put in the three screws. Okay, next is the side buttons. This is the hardest part of this whole thing is putting back in the side buttons because we have these magnets. So these magnets are gonna try to pull on your, um, your screws that you're trying to screw in and they're gonna try to jump over to the motherboard when you try to put these back in, these slots, but go ahead and try to put them back in the slots. Okay, and once you do that, the, the best way to do this is to get your buttons lined up. So this right button, goes underneath this left button and then what I do is I put in all my screws where they're supposed to go inside these buttons screw holes so one two and then three so I don't know if you see that but here we go let's check it out so all three screws are in their holes and then you want to very carefully hold this all together with one hand okay and then put it back down until you hear it click. So here we go. So you heard both buttons click down and then hopefully your screws didn't pop out. Go in there and tighten them down on down before those magnets get them. All right, go ahead and test them out. Make sure they click. Make sure your scroll wheel works. We already kind of tested the, the clickers. All right, we're looking good. Next. Okay, last step, guys. I went ahead and un unwound my mouse because we're gonna test it before we put it all the way back together. You have one last ribbon to put together, so just go ahead and slide that right in. All right, and then you have these two clips, oh sorry about that, two, these two clips that marry up with these two clips, so go ahead and feed them in there, push forward and push down, oh and I missed it, so go ahead and try again. Um, this part's kind of tricky, so just be patient, don't do this as fast as I'm going. Alright, there we go, that time it worked. Now I'm going to go ahead and put one screw in just so it kind of stays together. And then I'm gonna plug my mouse in to make sure everything works. Okay, so plug your mouse into your computer. Everything lights up. I have the mouse speed lights that light up. I have these lights that light up and the front lights that light up. So go ahead and test your mouse. Everything on my computer seems to be working fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably keep it plugged in now. That's fine. Finish putting in the screws. What a catch. All right, unplug your mouse because I'm clicking everything on my screen right now. And then two more screws. And then the pads go back on and we're done. I haven't used any adhesive to put my pads back on and they've seemed to stay on okay. Um, I can't find any replacement pads online. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. But I just kind of stick them back on there. The best I can. Try not to get your finger 
your oils uh, from your hands on there. That'll help a lot. Uh, or throw them on the floor. That helps too. All right. Do that. Give it a good press. All right. And we're done. Thanks for watching.